How's this lighting? Is it all right? It's terrible. <laughs> okay, so we are leaving Nashville. Comedy was a bust. <laughs> I am absolutely certain that I do this for the bartenders and only the bartenders. So I have not met a bar owner or a bartender that is not a libertarian, okay? Um, it's really hard to work in a restaurant, but I'm assuming specifically a bar and not have awareness of how the world really works. And I'm sure that you see this way more when you have to deal with people that are intoxicated uh, than, you know, what I've seen in regards to, you know, fast food and drive through service and all that shit. But, um, man that was an interesting evening so uh most of the comics that I, I do this with are like really really liberal and by that I mean they're so liberal that it's nauseating okay they're not liberal in a way that makes sense they're not liberal in like you know we believe in equality you know kind of liberal and if I don't hear fuck Trump every single time that I do stand up comedy uh, it it's like are, are people actually there are people are people like really in this setting because for whatever reason people feel like they, they have to constantly berate him like they're not, I don't know what it is. I really don't. I've never understood this sort of mindset where it's like, okay, I have to talk about these things or else people are gonna think that I don't care about this issue enough or whatever. It's like, I talk about the things that are important to me. And my question is, is this stuff really important? to these people or are they just saying this because they think that that's what they're supposed to do and that's my issue with it and if you get to talking to them they really have no idea what the fuck they're talking about because everything that they think is just a bunch of regurgitated horse shit that's been spoon fed to them by the mainstream media so it's like people are always bitching about the president or they're talking about weed legalization. Or they're talking about drugs in general. They're talking about their drug use. Or they're talking about being drunk. Or they're uh, talking about like one issue or another that's like politically correct. Like, uh, how about we get a female president? Or how about some trans rights? Or uh, how about we stop putting kids into cages? Ha 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 So funny, so funny. Fuck Trump, hilarious. Oh my goodness. And I'm like the exact opposite. Like tonight, <laughs> I made fun of all that. I made fun of like all this like anti-Trump shit because I I said something about a personal experience that I had now I don't know if I told you guys this but I find this really funny because like when it happened I was like that's hilarious um so I work at Steak and Shake as you guys know <laughs> y'all know that but the audience doesn't know that so that's why I had to I had to say that well I was making uh, milkshakes as I do 
hands on the shake page. And we ran out of orange syrup. Now somebody in the drive thru ordered an orange freeze. And my manager asked me why I didn't make it. And I said, well, we don't have orange syrup. And she said, yes we do. And she pointed at the motherfucking banana syrup. And I said, that shit's yellow. And she said, well, it looks orange to me. The Donald. So, <laughs> nobody knows what colors are anymore. I blame this president. Well, I don't really blame this president. I blame all the people blaming the president for everything and also telling really shitty jokes, like constantly calling him orange. Um, now this joke I did not do. What is it about a shitty joke? It just keeps on going. If it's actually funny, people get mad. People get offended. People talk about how inappropriate it was. But, if it's a shitty joke, it just won't fucking die. Y'all like the darkness? I do too. <laughs> there are no lights over here, but just uh, bear with me, y'all. You guys see me? This is really scary for them. I'm sure it is. They're just like, what happened to her? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I mentioned the fact that, like, the reason why my anti-Trump jokes are funny is because of the fact that I don't hate this president. And I think that when you spend a considerable amount of time on the internet being told what to think, uh, you know, first of all, you don't really have any real concept of reality. Um, but it's like, Um, how can you possibly be funny? Like, because it's not original, you know? Like, the whole thing with comedy is like, just, just being different. Having a, an outsider's perspective, having a, a different outlook. And you can't have a different outlook if it's just the same motherfucking shit that you've heard everywhere you go, nonstop from every single person that claims to be original and deep and interesting, okay? <laughs> now, this stuff right here, this comedy in the dark. <laughs> I'm sure it's way better than anything I said up there. Like it's way more real. You guys see me a little bit better? Can you see? Do you see me? Am I clear to you? <laughs> Sorry, just quoting Tupac again. Uh, pitch me rolling. <laughs> All right. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? This, <laughs> this is the closest thing to that Tupac song that I'm ever gonna get, okay? Have y'all heard that song, Pitch Me Rolling? It's off of one of the best albums ever made called All Eyes On Me, Double Disc. Okay. It's a good one. Now, I'm sorry, y'all. There are, like, no lights. Like, I'm surprised that I can even see to drive, but I also have, um, something called headlights. Do you guys know what those are? Hold on one second. You'll see them. You'll see them. There we go. Look at this shit. Now you see what I see. <laughs> this is insane, dude. You better hope that there's not a cop about. Because if they see you doing this shit, you know you're getting your ass pulled over. Because this is totally dangerous and you know it and I know that you don't give a fuck, but if you hit that fucking wall, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, 
they were 10 minutes. This is kind of cool though. <laughs> Don't you guys wish I'd make actual movies? So, I was telling that word, y'all should check out his channel, he's real funny. He's like me. I think he's a little more balanced than I am. I'm very, I'm very unbalanced, you guys. I'm very off kilter. I've never known what it's like to be on kilter though, so. What the fuck is kilter anyway? What the fuck does that mean? Anywho. I was telling him that like, man, I wanted to do a documentary on mental illness. And I, I feel like that's what I'm doing. Like, without even really trying, like, I just started documenting my life. And I guess it worked out that the uh, Camtasia film editing software that I purchased, I spent over $100 on this software only to find out that I don't have a fucking CD-ROM. Which I should have known when I bought the fucking laptop, but I just didn't even think about it. Because, you know, I'm not a technical kind of person, so I, I just... I wasn't paying that much attention. Now I realize I can just get this shit uploaded to a thumb drive and then put it on my computer that way. Which I probably will. Because I'm thinking about starting another YouTube channel that's just mainly sat satirical commercials about how fucked up and stupid this culture is. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Why is it 60? Look at the shit. Look at that shit. Why? Why? What is the fucking point of it turning to 60? Just to fuck with everybody, that's why. <laughs> that's a bullshit, man. Anyway. What was I saying? I have no clue, baby. This is scary shit right now. With grooved pavement, whatever that means. Hold on a second, you guys. Y'all hear that shit? That's what it means, grooved pavement. <laughs> I just think about all these rocks in my fucking tires. Oh my god! What is going on? Roofed pavement. <laughs> okay, y'all. It's back to me now. So we got some, some lights. A little bit of lights going on. See my pretty face. Be careful, I see police up there. We don't know what this means. We don't know if it's construction or we don't know if they're on the prowl for weirdos and freaks. <laughs> if that's the case, then I'm definitely public enemy number one, y'all. Oh yeah, I told everybody in the audience to listen to Tupac, not public enemy. So like nobody got my fucking jokes. Nobody got them. Every single time that I do jokes, I always think that like Ben Shapiro is gonna be in the audience or like the likes of Ben Shapiro. But really, it's just like the bartenders. No, it's just fine. But it's weird, it's weird to do jokes for like an audience that's just like so quiet, you know? Because like in your head, all these people are, are laughing at all the funny shit. It's obviously funny shit, but they're too stupid to understand. <laughs> it's all the audience's fault. No, but really though, and this is what that word was trying to tell me. His name's Frank, by the way. I think that's a pretty cool, like, YouTube name. It's, it's clever. It's a clever name for a channel. 
Oh no, they did pull somebody over over there. Do you see it? Do you see him? Anyway, there are blue lights over there. I'm not making this shit up. I'm sure there are blue lights everywhere, except, you know, in places they need them, like Portland, Oregon. Um, so, uh, <laughs> they got a Aquifa problem over there. The thing is, just keep in mind, like when you do stand-up comedy, you're doing it for a stupid crowd, okay? Like, and yeah, like, like I had a, I had a bit of a different perspective doing it tonight, because I was like, it's okay that they don't get it. Like, they don't have to get it. The point is, is that I do it anyway, and that I don't hold back. I don't say, I'm not gonna do these jokes. Oh, because some people in the audience might not understand. Because if there's one person in the audience that does understand, it's worth doing the joke. Even if it's, it seems like it's dead silent. I got a few laughs, like I could hear them. I think that they were embarrassed to laugh though. I think that they didn't know what to do. Even when I did like my pro-Trump shit, it was really obvious that, that people were uncomfortable. <laughs> I wasn't even pro-Trump. All I was saying was that it's fucking stupid to hate his guts. Because it is. You are not wasting anybody's time but your own. And you're not enlightening anyone either. Because, you know, this country's so divided that if you're Republican, you're gonna stay Republican. If you're Democrat, you're gonna stay Democrat. You know, like... But it's stupid to, like, stop associating with people all because of their political beliefs. Like, that's just dumb, you guys. Like, you're a real shell of a human being if you're not gonna talk to somebody all because they have a different uh, political view than you do. Now, I realize, though, especially, as y'all know, I, I bitch about socialism quite a bit because I do think that it's, like, it's sort of a... Uh, what do you call it? I don't really know what you call it, but um, <laughs> hold on a second. We're gonna we're gonna switch this up. We're back to the road. Um. It's like... <laughs> I'm sure anybody that's driving past you and sees this is like, what the fuck? I, I don't think that they can see it though. That's the thing. They have no idea what's going on. It's nighttime. And there's no light emitting from this uh, camcorder. So... The police don't know what's going on either. Yeah, that's right. Fuck the police. Oh yeah, my joke about fuck the police. So you say, and then you vote to expand the government. See, nobody laughed at that shit. But that's exactly what they're doing. They're complaining about the police department, and then they vote to expand the government. So it, it, it's just stupid. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, when you do comedy for a bunch of fucking morons that, that have no idea how things really are. And you're essentially just calling everybody a retard. And like, of course they're not gonna fucking laugh. But you'll get one conservative in the audience that's like, thank you so much. You're hilarious. I really appreciate your existence. That's who I do it for, babe. It's like a lot of people that watch this channel, they get mad and then they stop watching it. But if you're cool, you keep watching it because you realize you don't have to agree with me all the time. That's fine. I've said this before, I'll say it again. I don't agree with me all the time because sometimes I'm completely full of shit, y'all. Sometimes I can be a real fucking moron and I can be real selfish and I can be real narcissistic and my head's in my own asshole. So much so that I'm smelling tomorrow's shit. 
you know? <laughs> that's a good one. You should say that one because that's hilarious. Like, I think that you can say things that are very, like, shocking. And I think that that would actually make people laugh. So, I don't know what your goal is. If you really want to make people laugh or if you just want to piss people off. <laughs> I think there should be a mix. But yeah, it's really important to, you know, be the one person that says the stuff that nobody else is saying. That's what true comedy is. And I'm really lucky that I realized that. Yeah, get the fuck away from me, you piece of shit. Yeah, people drive behind me, and then they get away. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> you can tell I listen to way too much Mitch Hedberg. But, is it really too much Mitch Hedberg? There's no such thing as too much Mitch Hedberg, okay? I really wish that that motherfucker had come out with more material before he passed away, that selfish piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Mitch. I hope you're hearing this, and I hope you're mad. I don't think Mitch Hepburn got mad about a lot. <laughs> Which way do you want to go? I don't know, man. I kind of feel like going to Waffle House for no fucking reason at all. <laughs> no, man, if you're going to go to Waffle House, you need to like bring your joke books with you. See, I think, I think my biggest problem with doing stand-up comedy is that I keep thinking that everybody's going to laugh at my shit. <laughs> because, like, I know that I'm fucking funny, but I expect there to be, like, 25 me's in the audience, and that's just fucking silly. I need to expect silence every fucking time. Just, just the same as I expect people to be shitheads everywhere I go, so that whenever people aren't shitheads, I get pleasantly surprised, you know? So, that way, if, uh, if people laugh, it's like a treat, you know? It's like, oh, hey, that one actually worked. And by that, I mean, the audience doesn't have a stick up their ass after all. Yay! But see, I said stuff that people people clapped at, too. That's another thing. Like, I was talking about political correctness. And I was talking about how... Like, don't get offended because I said the word retard. As if you have, like, some friend of a friend of a friend that has, like, a mentally challenged neighbor or some shit. You know, like, <laughs> there's so many people that they want to do that. And they're really doing themselves a disservice because they're exposing themselves as a fucking candy ass. You know, that's what they're doing. And they just look really misinformed. interesting video though it's very interesting like that's the thing with your videos they might be fucking annoying with really weird angles and really bad lighting but at least they're fucking interesting I'm sure people are absolutely captivated by this experience <laughs> anyway I talked to a lot of people tonight uh, and I gave away a bunch of edibles too. That's right, I just give them away. I'm very generous when I, when I uh, make them. Like that first week that I have edibles, like the same, the same way that I was with, with weed. Like when I buy a bag of weed, like I just smoke a fuck ton of it because I have so much. I'm the same way when I make a bunch of edibles. Because I'm like, I have all these edibles. I can just give them away. 
Now that's not smart considering the fact that like I'm really like not making my money back. But I look at it like I'm doing a good deed. I'm helping people out. I'm giving people a positive experience. Hopefully the pesticides are completely cooked out of that fucking pot. And you know, like that homeless dude, I said I was gonna buy him a drink. I did something even better. I gave him I gave him a pot cookie. He said that shit settles his stomach. I'm like, yeah, you drank enough. So we're back in my face, you guys. Y'all see me? Somewhat. Oh shit. Big ass truck just passed my ass. That was scary. Yeah, this lighting fucking sucks. There's no light at all. It's just fucking darkness. Approaching a stoplight. You guys want proof? There it is. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Don't you wish I'd stop this video? Look at him go. There they go, there they go, there they go. <laughs> you were so dumb. You were so fucking dumb sometimes, man. Right, let me get a better shot of this. There we go. It's really cool, there's like a handle on this camera. <laughs> Yay! See, there's no need for me to put my turn signal on because I was already in the left turn lane. But I felt like doing it anyway. Sometimes I want to hear the noise. Sometimes it's comforting. You know, it satisfies me in a way. <laughs> okay, be careful up here. You just never know. There are cops around. Like, oh, uh, ma'am, uh, you, you do realize that it's, it's a danger to, uh, you know, film yourself while, while driving. Yes, I understand that, officer, but uh, I want people in the vortex to understand the full experience of what it means to be mentally ill and uh, not give a fuck. <laughs> Yay, another red light that it's going to magically turn green. One, two, three, yay! <laughs> Hopefully we'll be home by the time this video runs out. I'll be real with y'all. Shooting this video is hurting my neck. It's hurting my arm too, but I, I'm doing it for you guys, okay? <laughs> Once you guys get the full experience. <laughs> you know, I keep saying that I'm gonna shoot short videos, but they always turn into like at least 30 minute videos. But this is what it's like, man. This is what it's like to uh, be a crazy person that is totally fine with that. Doesn't play the victim about that shit. Just lives their fucking life. It's not that hard, y'all. I don't know why people act like it's such a fucking inconvenience to just feel things sometimes. I mean, I'm a real emotional person. I get very passionate about a lot, but 
that doesn't mean that I'm a victim. All because I experience uh, some stuff that's inconvenient or, God forbid, you know, negative. You know, there's nothing wrong with experiencing negative stuff. Uh, I think that that's the problem is that so many people, they experience something and it, it feels bad. And so they, they assume that, oh, feeling bad is, is wrong. But if you felt good all the time, first of all, you wouldn't appreciate it. Second, there's something severely wrong with you. <laughs> Third, there really is something severely wrong with you. <laughs> okay, right here, right here. Cops, there are always cops right here. Like right in this fucking area. Put the camera down, put the camera down, put the camera down. There you go. <laughs> Look in that fucking air conditioner. I think that's what that was that I was filming. Put the camera down, put the camera down, put the camera down. <laughs> oh, there are always cops around here just like hanging out, just waiting. Just just waiting, waiting for somebody to catch. Doing something funky. Okay, all I'm gonna Do y'all see me somewhat? Now you do. I'm gonna stop this video though because it's kinda coming off. You know what you could do is just wait for it to cut you off and then say goodbye as it's cutting you off. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> That's why I'm a comedian, you guys, because I'm hilarious. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me say that because it's annoying and I know it. Isn't my hair so pretty? My mom got mad because it wasn't brushed. She can kiss my ass. Fuck you, mom. Just kidding. I love you. 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 Hi. And we're back. So there's this motherfucker behind me that is inching way too close to me and it's pissing me off. Leave me the fuck alone, bitch. It's annoying. <laughs> I hate